Well, hello friends. Welcome to Stash the Treasure, which is an open collaboration that I host with my good friend Sherry of Turquoise Dreaming. And I'm so excited for this uh, video today because the prompt for today, which you don't have to use the prompt, but it's there for you if you need it. The prompt for today is to use an item you have not yet used this year. Well, I have not used this cinch to make a craft project. Now, I did rebound, rebind um, a book for my husband, a book that we use personally, um, just to try it out. So I have tried it, um, but I have not used it to make any journals or anything. So I'm going to make my first... Uh, Ooh, I'm so excited. Coil bound journal. Now I've seen Sherry make some amazing ones. Mine is going to be super simple. It's going to be more like a little notebook. And um, I had also recently hauled a bunch of gorgeous Reader's Digest. And I paid more than I normally would for them. But it's just that I really loved the covers. I mean, this has butterflies. Come on now. So, um, it didn't have a, a spine, but I didn't care because I kind of had an idea that I might just do a coil bound or whatever. So, we'll see how it turns out. I hope I don't mess it up. But, um, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use the cinch, which I purchased. I'm telling you, I don't remember how much I spent on this one, but I remember it was less than $10. So, it was single digits. I was ecstatic. I think I danced out of the Goodwill that day. Now, I don't know if it's... Oh, there we go. If, I was going to say, I don't know if it's broken or anything, but no, I think all these came down. Okay, all right. Then, um, I also have these uh, pre-folded papers. Now, for a coil-bound book, I, they don't need to be folded, but they're already pre-folded so that, uh, you know, the size is approximately... Um, well, it is like half of a regular paper size, which it should work for the um, Reader's Digest book. I'll just have to, ooh, sorry, I'll just have to cut them down a little bit. But, you know, it, it's kind of almost, almost there. So let's see. Yeah, I will have to, I will have to um, resize them a little bit. But at least I have some paper set aside that I can, you know, kind of... Um, what do you call it? Just grab. And actually, I just had an idea. I've done this before. I did this when I did my little golden book journal. Is, um, you know, the papers that were sticking out a little bit. I left them like that, sticking out. And then I just put some lace along the edge to hide the, the pages that were sticking out. So I think I'm just going to do that. That way I don't have to cut these pages back. Because I have tons of lace that is nice and thick that can go over the edge here and kind of disguise that. That way, I'll, the only thing I'll have to do is cut the length, not the width. So I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. So um, let me go ahead and... Oh, and let me also show you this. I did buy these coils from Amazon just because, you know, uh, I needed coils in order to, you know, <laughs> use the cinch, right? But just a few weeks ago look what I found I found some at the Goodwill and these are like two dollars or something like that for these six now these are thinner they're, they're just they will only hold about uh, let's see if it tells you how many pages it will hold approximately it doesn't say but it won't hold that many pages you know um, because obviously it's it's just smaller than this this will hold a lot more pages. But still, I can make some little notebooks and stuff with these. So I was so excited. It was definitely worth the couple dollars that I paid for it. So, But today, I'm probably going to, you know, make a larger one. And I'm going to use this one, which I believe it's an, an inch, maybe. Maybe not quite an inch, but we'll see. Um, so, all right. I'm going to get off camera for a little while just to pick out some pages and um, and then I'll come back, okay? Okay, so this is what I've picked out. I haven't, I didn't count or anything. It seems a little thin, but you know when you embellish stuff, um, it grows. So we'll see. So so far, now these are all doubled. So what I was thinking is I could 
you know, cut them so there'll be two pages and then just mix them up. Um, actually, this one I'm thinking, I don't necessarily, I mean, this is cute, but I don't necessarily want this part. I love the outside. So I may just put it in with the binding here and create a pocket. So I would just seal one of the edges. So that's an idea. Here's some notebook paper, notepad paper from like a little stationery. So there's that. So I'm going to call this one page, two, three. This was a, a printable. So that could be two pages, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, let's see, 17, 18, I think these are some end papers, 19, I'm thinking I might make this a fold out, so 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, different type of ledger, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, another fold out, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, um, let me grab some other papers. So these were my pre-folded papers. Um, I also have a set. Uh, give me a second. Okay. I'd also put together this bundle of papers uh, for sale in my whatnot shows. So I'm just going to grab the January one because I like January. And I think I'm going to include this tab here, but I'm not going to have I'm not going to have it sticking out beyond because the papers are already sticking out. So this one will probably just go just in, but you know I'll cut it down to size. So I'm going to add some of these papers, maybe cut down to size. Um, oh, here's a good one. This is um, a hymn book page. Here is it's some diction a dictionary page from a um, children's dictionary. This is from an old parenting book. So I had almost 40. Oh, look at this. This is cool. This is from a black line notebook. So you can use your jelly uh, markers on it. I'm going to enter it with the you know, holes on this side because I uncoiled it. Oh, this is cool. This is um, some coloring book page. I'm going to fold that in half because it'll probably get cut cut in half. And uh, let's see what else is interesting. Oh, this is cool. Some music paper. This is, um, you know, for writing music. And so it's going to be sideways, but that's okay. Okay, here is some record book paper. I may want to include that. Um, well, it's already folded. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Ooh, this is fun. Some uh, primary writing paper. Okay. I have some... Oh, this is fun. Look. A page from an old reproduction Sears catalog. That'll be a fun page. It'll be a smaller page in there. Um, oh, this one. I wanted to have some of this gingham paper. So it's got a mason jar on one side, but the other side is all gingham. So I'm going to fold that in half and stick it in there. So I should have more than 50 papers in here already. But let's see what else is good. There's all kinds of goodies. There's another stationary paper. Oh, this is fun. This um, kind of steno pad paper. 
Okay, I'll just leave it like this for now. Um, ooh, um, a large um, envelope. Let's see, if I fold it in, if I cut it in half and I bind it in here, I'll still have the flap of the envelope to use. However, it's taller than a reader's digest. So I would have to cut it, like seal it at the bottom, you know, like cut it at the bottom. So um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use it or not. We'll go ahead and put it in here and then we'll see. Okay, so I have a bunch of interesting papers in here. Now to cut them. Let me uh, set all of this aside. And so here's the other thing. Like, uh, for the Reader's Digest, see how the papers in the Reader's Digest are just a little bit smaller than the actual book? I'm not going to do that for my journal. It's going to be pretty flush. At least that's how I'm going to cut them, pretty flush. Um, and then, of course, it'll be sticking out here with the lace. So, um, let me move the cinch over uh, while I bring my cutting mat out here. And I don't at this time, well, I do have a, a paper cutter. Probably be better to use that. But anyway, I'm going to bring the mat in here. And uh, I should probably get a template. Okay, this is going to get cut out of here. I might as well do it now. So let me grab my blade. And carefully cut this. You know, I like the um, Ex Libris page. It has not been written in, so I'm going to try to save it. I can just cut as straight as possible. Okay. I think that's pretty loose on the top there. Okay, there we go. Yay! Here we go. So I'm just going to even that out with scissors. But I do want this page. Let's see. Can I just... It's attached to this one. But I think I can just remove it. Ooh. There we go. Alright. So see how it's a smaller... So I don't necessarily want to use that page as a template. Alright. And grab my big scissors and just smooth that out. I have never done a coil, you know, coil bound, coil bound journal before, so this is super exciting for me. I've been wanting to for the longest time. I've been drooling over the ones that Sherry's been doing. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, it seems like it should be simple, but, you know, it's still a lot of work. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to, with a uh, sanding block, kind of smooth it out. We made a little boo-boo there. So now I need to decide if I want to, because I don't necessarily like the, the way that that edge looks like that so I need to decide what I'm gonna do this is not too bad okay that has definitely helped all right let's see on this side too still looks a little rough Feels smooth, although it still looks a little hairy up there. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, I'll decide what to do with it later. I just want to get my, you know, I just want to get started and have a template. Okay, so this I am going to slice off a little bit. Hopefully, my paper cutter will work. Let me get all this trash off first. Okay. 
All right. I just have this small one, but it should be big enough for what I need. Okay. Uh, and the only reason I'm cutting this is because it's, you know, it's not straight, straight. It's a little bit like, kind of like... Mm. Probably, actually, scissors might be better. Because I think I'm just cutting that sliver of roughness off. Yeah. Because sometimes with the paper cutter, it'll rip your paper. Alright. Yep, and it's just... It goes just to the end. Okay, awesome. So, now let's do the back cover. Oh, that's pretty there too. The RD for Reader's Digest. So I think I'm gonna cut it from the from my outside a little bit here. See if that helps, and then go inside. Let's see how we do. Okay, cut through. There we go. And again, I'm going to clean this up off camera the same way I did the other one. So this video is not super duper long. It's already getting a little long. Okay, got the front cover, the back cover. And um, let me grab this back page too because it's so pretty. Came right off. And again, I'm just going to, I don't know. Let's we'll straighten it out. See if I don't need to cut it. I think it'll be fine. This one came out much smoother than the other one. Let's see. It's the same size. Yeah, pretty much. It's just a sliver, which is fine. It's going to be in the back. And then this is going to be in the front. And then we're going to have all the lovely papers in between. So, um, let's see, let me measure this here, see if that helps. Nope, I'm going to make a template. And I think I'm going to use this one. Let's see. Okay. Let's use this one. It's nice and sturdy. And I don't, I'm not sure, I don't care if the, yeah, that's all right. I don't, I don't mind. Actually, let's use something that is more like neutral. Here we go. This. The avocado dyed. This is regular copy paper that's been avocado dyed. Okay, so I'm just going to... I'm actually going to go ahead and just with pencil draw here. And then when I cut, I'm going to cut right inside that pencil line. And then this will be my template. We'll see if that works. I don't know, Sherry. How am I doing so far? <laughs> I've never done one of these before, so again, really excited to be trying it out. Okay, let me get my blade up there. Come on. Okay, I just did it right inside. Maybe a little bit too much, but that's okay. Because again, the papers don't all have to be perfect, although whenever I see Sherry's there, hers all seem to be pretty perfect but <laughs> that's okay <laughs> okay there we go all right so now I have two two sheets that I can um, put in whatever order let me go ahead and put them in here make sure that they are not too tall that's the thing I don't want them sticking out here or here but if they are flush with the cover that is okay yes I think that is perfect I might even do a sliver more I don't know if I can do a sliver on here but we'll see like a teeny sliver yeah yeah I think that'll be perfect yep so it's just inside of the cover just inside all right all right so I'm gonna cut papers and come back okay so I have finally 
um, cut up a bunch of papers to fit here. Um, I'm loving how it's looking. That's how thick it's going to be. Didn't count the pages, but um, the ones that are sticking out are going to be folded, but I'm leaving them like that for now. I also looked for uh, some pretty images in the actual book, and I found these, and they're two pages. They had writing in the back, so I just glued them together um, so that, you know, they'd be sturdier. And um, so I'm going to put it in the book somewhere in here, uh, just randomly inside. So um, I did uh, choose where to put my pages. Um, they're somewhat random, but they are really pretty, I think, um, the combination of papers that are in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start punching holes in my pages, well that's a fold out, and binding them. I think I want to put this right here. Kind of like the swooshy and then the city. Okay. So I'm not going to go through every page here. Um, I just wanted to show you. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to bring my cinch back onto the desk <laughs> and uh, let's see what happens. So um, in order not to complicate things for myself, um, I'm going to just put the coils in the middle of the book. So, and I've seen this done before, where, see, um, it's not going to cover the entire book from top to bottom, the, the holes, right? So, um, I'm just going to align my, this guide, because this is what helps me, you know, put the uh, coils in, so that it puts the book and the pages so that the coils will be in the middle. So let's see. I think this is about the size of the cinch, so it'll be right there. Yeah, and then when I put it in, it should punch the whole one over. Right in the middle. There we go. I think that will work. Maybe a little bit more. There. Something is sticking out the same on either side. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Let's see. All these are punched in. I think that means that all the coils will punch. All right. I have tried this before. It was a while ago. I should probably do a test run, but I'm just going to go for it. I'm making sure I've pushed the... Um, you know, cover all the way in, and I'm going to punch. Oh, it does take a little bit of muscle. All right. Oh, my goodness, I'm so excited. Yay! I think it's perfect. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm also going to go ahead and punch the back cover. I'm going to do the covers first. I want to make sure those are aligned. I want to move this. I want to make sure I'm pushing this all the way to the back. And okay, here we go. Okay. Ooh, let's see if they align. They align perfectly. Okay. So as long as I keep this here and I punch my pages, it should align just perfectly. So I'm going to do the first few with you and then I'm going to um, do the rest of my own. It tells me here not to exceed 20 sheets of lightweight paper at one time. So just to be safe, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. I'm going to do 10 at a time because they're not all lightweight papers. Some of them are a little bit heavier than the others. And even though it may take me a while, that's okay. Now, the other thing I want to, I want to do is I want to make sure that, um, see how the papers are not all the same size? That they are, when I put them in, where they are supposed to be. Because I don't want this sticking up the top. Only, if it's going to stick out, I want to stick out the top and the bottom kind of evenly. You know, so I want to kind of measure it like that. And let's see if there's any other size papers. Okay, this one right here. Um, do I want it down? No. I want it also in the middle. Like that. So I want to make sure that they are, you know, in the right place. Uh, it's the first time I'm doing it. I don't think it's going to be, you know, a horrendously terrible thing if they're not perfectly aligned. But, you know, try to do the best job I can. So here we go. So I don't want to tap down because I've lined them up. But I want to tap the side to make sure that they are all all the way to the end that's for sure because that's important all right here we go I'm so excited so I'm pushing all the way to the back making sure it's touching the back all right here we go all right yay okay so then that should align perfectly here and it does Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Okay, so it's going to be, again, a little tedious punching all these papers, but I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera. And then I'll come back for the coiling, or the actual binding. So I just realized, I think one of the things I'm supposed to do, or um, I can do anyway, is put the coil here on the side so that... As I'm putting the papers in, there we go. See, this grabs this grabs the uh, coils, so that I can actually start laying my papers in. But I think this is the back cover. I have to cut it first. So let's see. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I want to cut this right here, I believe. <clears throat> so let me just grab a little pliers and cut. Alright. And I think I can start laying my papers in. So, and I believe the back cover goes first. No, the back cover goes on top so that it, this is inside. Right. Yes, so I want to do... My front cover... hope I'm doing this right so I can just start laying my papers as I punch them I think that's what you're supposed to be able to do and then lay your papers in as you're punching them and then when you're done with all that you put in your back cover no the back cover goes first because that way this part will be on the inside when you bind it because then it'll close like this so you have the back cover then the front cover and then all the pages and then the last page yes i'm pretty sure that's how it goes oh my goodness all right hmm, these are a little bit close i need to make sure i push all the papers all the way in all right, I'm going to keep punching. Okay, I've put all my pages in. 
this is the last page. So, um, I have them all in here. Ooh, I'm so excited. Now, um, let me, I need to go back over there. So, let me turn this around. There's this little thing here so I can hold this down. All right. Now I'm going to work with this side. Whew. And I think that is about right. It's three, seven eighths. Um, because this isn't quite an inch, is it? Oh, well, maybe it is. I guess I should have measured it. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's not quite an inch. So I think that measurement is going to be good. Um, I hope so anyway. This last one, okay. So the next thing I do is, once that is set up here, I put my coils. All right, let me read the directions because now, for some reason, I can't remember. Okay. Uh, da, 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 six inches or small. Okay. Place wire binding on hooks, thread, sheets, and binding. Press and turn top knob to the desired binding size, insert bound book, then press handle to cinch. Oh, I do need to leave this up. Okay, that's what it is. See how I had closed it? That's why I couldn't fit it. See, now it's open. So I do have to leave the handle up. Okay, so now I put this in here, and I'm, I, I guess I just put it right in there because it doesn't tell me any other way, so I'm just going to go ahead and press and see what happens. Is this right? No. How am I supposed to? Okay, hold on. I need to go like this, right? All the way? No. Uh oh, I'm messing up. Uh, insert bound book. Okay, let me put this back here again to see where it lays. Maybe that's that's what. Okay, this is how it lays. So how do I put it in here? Just like that. Let me see. No, that's not pressing it right. Okay. So this is the tricky part. I did this once before, but now I don't remember what, what I did or what I'm doing wrong. I mean, worst case scenario, I just get another coil, you know? Alright. Let's see, does this work? It's not squishing it right. Is it? Oh, maybe it is. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> it did it! It's not, like, perfect. I may have had this measurement wrong. It looks like it might have gone a little too tight. But let's see, let's see how it's looking. Worst case scenario, I can always grab another wire and rebind it. Okay, so this is my back cover. <gasps> I love it. So see my, this part is about, it's in here. So this is not perfectly aligned. So I messed up something in the, um, I think the first time I pressed, I m probably misaligned it. So I may have to rebind it, but for now I'm going to leave it like this. Again, uh, it's my first one, so I, I'm, I'm actually happy with it. Okay, I did rebind it. Um, wasted one bit of wire, but no worries. Um, now I know what to do. So you actually have to set the guide to the size of the wire. So I had to double check what size I had purchased. So I went through my Amazon orders and I had purchased a one inch wire. So um, once I did that, it, it did it perfectly. Um, and there it is. So I'm going to do a super quick flip of this book. And um, I am loving it. Check it out. Lots of different pages, different types of papers. It flips very smoothly. Oh my goodness, no wonder Sherry loves to make these books. <laughs> it's so much fun. 
So you're definitely going to see me making more of these in the future because I am hooked. And I, I know I'm skipping a lot of uh, pages, but this video is already super long. So I will definitely come back after I finish. There's a couple of little things that I want to do to it. Um, like I said, put some lace on the edges. Um, but you know what? It, the paper is not really sticking out too badly. And I kind of want to do um, book corners. So we'll see. Um, I'll go ahead and finish, you know, the entire project and do a flip through later in a, in a later video. But I just wanted to come back and show you that, yes, it is important that you set the guide to the correct wire size. And I believe that is all that happened. Um, but yeah, it's, it's perfect. I'm loving it. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you have any suggestions for me or anything, any comments, let me know what you thought of this project. Do you have a cinch? Have you used it if you do? Because mine sat for a while um, without me using it until now I finally did. The next thing I want to do is play with, um, you know, binding the whole length, meaning, you know, you kind of have to shift. So, um Maybe I'll come back with another video doing that. Let me know if you would like to see that. Um, if not, then thank you for watching. Definitely watch um, Sherry's video if you have not done so already. And if you want to participate in hashtag stash the treasure, just make a video, use the hashtag, and you know link um, my channel as long as well as Sherry's channels um, in your description and. Uh, that's pretty much it. I think the details will be, again, in the description below. Thanks again. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.